Once I had a student who came to me with a math score in the 400s and really struggled on the math side of things. There was a mystique of, I can't do math, math is scary. I mean, look at me, I'm not scary, right? For her, learning math from someone whom she was personally connected to, it demystified a lot of things. I love math. I mean, I actually love problem solving and analytical reasoning. And that has nothing to do with numbers or shapes. That has to do with thinking and the ability to break things down into small pieces and really work through a problem from beginning to end is really what I think math is about. If you can take away the idea that it's variables and numbers and it's, it's math and actually make it a thought process, the other stuff stops feeling so scary, I think, for a lot of students. All of a sudden, someone's willing to change their perception of what they're capable of. And it's really rewarding to see someone go from not believing to believing. And a lot of times when someone's really struggling, as the teacher, you have to have the belief first. And you have to have enough belief for two. And that really translates when it's real. When kids know that you believe in them and that their narrative that they are not a good math student is not the narrative you hold. Eventually, they find themselves going, oh, yeah, this is happening, and I'm doing this. How cool. I am Michelle Chasen, and I am a tutor and associate director at Advantage Testing.